hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is Dennison, your billionaire farmer so in this video today i want to explain to you how farm land is measured how your farm land is measured how many plots are in one acre how many plots are in two acres uh, how many hectares i want you know stuff like that so in this video i'm going to explain to you in details so all you have to do is subscribe to this youtube channel like this video and if you have any comment or anything you want to know you can reach out to me on whatsapp or drop your comment and i will respond to you so let me show you how you can measure this line but before i do that let's know why you should know your farm land area why why is it important number one is resource allocation the resources you're using you are going to be battling with lack of resources is it money is it seed is it uh inputs right these are things that you don't have in abundance so you have to know your farm land when you know your farm land you know how to allocate these resources you will know how to put how many seed you need per hectare do you know that currently we have how many seed of corn or seed of maize you should plant in one acre there's accuracy to agriculture precision agriculture where you're not just guessing you're doing everything with accuracy how many plants of uh, let's assume you want to go into plant plantation right you want to go into palm oil tree how many palm oil tree do you need on one hectare so when you know how many you need you know the land you have you don't have to allocate the resources and number two is yield what estimation and planning just like I've, I've explained you're able to know that okay if i'm doing cassava on one hectare i'm expecting 30 tons of cassava so for me to achieve this i need to plant uh, maybe 1000 uh, uh, cassava stem or cassava seed so this will help you in planning and if I should have less 30 tons of cassava, how am I going to sell it? Am I going to process to Gary? So you now plan ahead based on you have known your land size. Financial management. So you know how to allocate your funds. You know how to manage your funds. You know how to, to be able to know the number of uh, bag of fertilizer you need to apply to that your cucumber farm or your pepper farm or your tomato farm. Okay, you need three bag of of uh, fertilizer to apply on one acre, so you budget that money for. So your financial planning will be right when you know your land size. So let me show you how this land is measured. Now conversion between acres, hectare, and square meters. Right. So now one hectare is equal to two point four seven one acres. Then one acre is 0 0.4047 hectares then one hectare is equals to 10,000 meters 10,000 square meters then one acre is equals to what 4,047 square meters one plot of 100 by 100 you know people ask me question like i have five plot how many hectares or how many acres is that so here you understand that 100 by 100 plot if you have a 100 by 100 plot and you know that okay that 100 is measured to be 960 we have some uh, location or let me say some communities where land is not measured the same this is what i, I want you to understand because if you go to some areas one hectare is not up to 10,000 square meters because they will measure this land it will be maybe 800 square meters instead of 900 plus and then you go to some places you discover that one plot of 100 by 100 is, me is measured at what 1000 square meters so can you see the differences now so you need to understand how many square meters is this land measured first understand the square meters when you know the square meters you'll be able to determine how many uh, uh, acres you know you will determine how many hectares so if you have one plot of 100 by 100 feet definitely you have 926 square meter so you need to have 10 or well, let me say 9 plot of 100 by 100 for you to be able to have one hectare 
it will now be what 10,000 square meters. So this is how land are being measured, mostly in Nigeria and in rural areas. If you go to towns like Lagos, Abuja, Portaikon, where there is demand for land very high, you will discover that one hectare will not be up to what? It will not be up to 10,000 square meters. It will not be. Maybe it might be 8,000. It might be 9,000 or 9,000 plus square meters. So if you're buying land, if I land in rural areas, make sure you're, you, 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 you're so detailed to know how many hectares you have or how many acres you have. It will also help you in knowing how to pay, how much you're going to pay. Because I was working on a project for someone who started, a, who is preparing to start a cassava farm, cassava cultivation plan. And based on what they told you, the land was five hectares. But when we did the measurement, it was not up to five hectares. So most times it's not the owners that maybe the scam you know, but that is how they calculate. So you need to know, okay, your a plot is how many square meters. When you know that, you can know, okay, if I'm buying 20 plots here with 926 square meters, this is what I'm expecting to get. So this is how land is measured, mostly in Nigeria. It might be different in other countries. Even within Nigeria, it's different in different states, right? The measurement is not the same in some other state. Like in Benue State, I've bought lands where they were measured up to 1,000 square meter for a plot of 100 by 100. In some places, the plot is 100 by 20 or 100 by 50. That is what they call a plot in some areas. 100 by 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 50 square, uh, 100 by 50 f uh, feet. They call it a plot. But in Benue State here, it's 100 by 100. That is called a plot of land. We don't have all those small measurement of uh, square meters. No, it's complete hundred by hundred, and most of them are even up to one thousand square meters, right? So this is what you need to know as a farmer. And I've answered this question because so many people have asked me, and that is why I've done this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. All you have to do for me is to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification icon. So as I drop video, you'll be notified on time so you can watch. Thank you. I remember Dennis, your billionaire.